The 2023 season witnessed a clear dominance by Max Verstappen and Red Bull, attributed to their impeccable car, the RB19. The realization of this supremacy has spurred other teams to recognize the need for a significant improvement in their performance for the upcoming 2024 season. The forthcoming winter development phase holds heightened importance for nearly every team on the grid. Teams across the board are implementing substantial overhauls for their 2024 cars, and in this video, I'll provide details on the top four changes. Let's kick things off with Mercedes. Despite securing second place in the Constructors' Championship, narrowly beating Ferrari by three points, the latter half of 2023 did not unfold as planned for the Silver Arrows. The low point occurred in Brazil, where only one car finished at P8. Subsequent races in Las Vegas and Abu Dhabi, while better than Brazil, still fell short of expectations. The pain is accentuated by the fact that after these disappointments, Mercedes saw success in Austin and Mexico with the upgraded floor. Recognizing the W14's failure to meet set targets from the outset in Bahrain, the Brackley-based team initiated work on their 2024 car early in the season. In Brazil, Total Wolf questioned whether the subpar performance shattered confidence or served as an eye-opener. He responded that it confirmed the necessity of the undertaken steps, acknowledging the car's precarious nature and the need for development in the coming year. James Allison emphasized the importance of learning from the W14 to inform the development of the W15. However, the inconsistencies in Abu Dhabi, Las Vegas, and Brazil underscored the need for a comprehensive overhaul of the W15. The challenges posed by both the W13 and W14 revealed the team's struggles in resolving them effectively. George Russell sees the setbacks as an opportunity stating that his team has thoroughly examined and understood the core of every problem within the W14. He believes that 2024 could be a successful year if they address these uncovered issues. The crucial question remains, how does Mercedes plan to transform the W15 into a championship contender? According to George, changes are underway in the hierarchy at the factory, emphasizing improved communication in every decision regarding the W15's development. The British driver emphasized that a single crucial change holds the potential for significant improvement. He attributes the rushed decision-making process as the culprit behind the creation of both the W13 and the W14. Mercedes, once likened to a well-oiled machine during its era of dominance by Christian Horner, has seen its components fall out of sync over time. To address the issue of hasty and often incorrect decisions, Mercedes is now dedicating more time to collaborative efforts. Priority is placed on inter-team communication, ensuring that decisions receive approval from every department at both the Brackley and Bricksworth facilities. In response to inquiries about the outlook for 2024 at the factories, Toto Wolff expressed satisfaction with securing P2 in the Constructors' Championship, considering it a positive outcome and a significant reward for the entire team. However, he acknowledged the motivation to perform even better in the upcoming year and emphasized the team's focus on improvement. Mercedes isn't the sole major team grappling with defeat at the hands of Max Verstappen and Red Bull. Ferrari, in particular, is expected to feel the impact more acutely than Mercedes. In 2022, Ferrari possessed a fast car and was anticipated to clinch the championship. However, they were outdeveloped by Red Bull and despite being the only team other than Red Bull to secure a win in 2023, disappointment prevails. The frustration stems from the inability to match Red Bull and Verstappen's performance and the failure to secure second place in the constructors' standings. Whether it's P2 or P3 in the championship, it holds equal importance for both Mercedes and Ferrari. Since Ferrari's last championship win in 2008, they are gearing up for the upcoming winter to make substantial performance strides for their next year's car. Charles Leclerc discussed the forthcoming 2024 Ferrari, highlighting its substantial differences from the SF23. He noted that insights gained from the SF23 are instrumental in shaping the 2024 Ferrari into a competitive machine. The distinct nature of the 2024 project underscores the team's confidence in their chosen direction for the upcoming year. Throughout the current season, Ferrari has been actively introducing upgrades, particularly post-summer break, 
with a primary focus on influencing the development of the 2024 car, codenamed Project 676. Reports indicate that this project draws inspiration from the successful Red Bull RB19, media outlets closely tied to the Italian racing stable, known for its reliability, have reported that Ferrari is incorporating design choices from Red Bull while introducing its innovations. Significant upgrades, such as the floor upgrade in Austria and subsequent enhancements in Japan, worked in tandem, guiding the team's focus on Project 676 development. Every decision made by Ferrari post-summer break has been centered around the vision for 2024, Ferrari believes that aligning with the approach taken by Red Bull is the most effective strategy for competitiveness within the current regulatory framework. In contrast to Mercedes, Ferrari has chosen to closely follow Red Bull's trajectory, integrating additional Ferrari innovations. This strategic development plan is seen as the right course of action for the upcoming winter. While Ferrari is adopting this path for 2024, McLaren made a similar decision in 2023 and it proved highly successful. At the beginning of 2023, McLaren lagged more than a second behind, indicating a failure to meet development targets. However, mid-season upgrades inspired by Red Bull significantly transformed McLaren's performance, propelling them to P4 in the constructors' standings. This strategic move gives McLaren an advantageous position heading into the winter break, unlike rivals Ferrari and Mercedes, who have extensive overhauls planned for the 2024 season. McLaren's team principal, Andrea Stella, echoed this sentiment, emphasizing the importance of the current year's performance as a starting point for next year's car development. Amidst these developments, Red Bull refuses to remain static. Even in Abu Dhabi, the Austrian team displayed a substantial lead over the rest of the field in both qualifying and race configurations. Despite this performance advantage, Adrian Newey and his team are actively engaged in crafting a completely new car for the 2024 season, one that, according to the latest sources, holds even greater potential. Red Bull's chief engineer, Paul Monaghan, emphasized the team's commitment to progress despite their current advantage. It would be wrong of us to just leave it alone because our opposition is getting a bit closer, he stated. However, he acknowledged the constraints imposed by the current regulations compared to previous years. While hinting at the evolution of the current car, Monaghan underscored the need to find additional lap time and stay ahead of the chasing pack. Former F1 team boss Eddie Jordan shared insights from a recent conversation with Adrian Newey, disclosing Red Bull's plans for 2024. Newey believes that the evolution of their current setup will pose a formidable challenge for other teams to catch up with. This revelation leaves fans with mixed expectations, anticipating either a potentially uneventful or thrilling season, depending on their allegiance to Red Bull. As Red Bull heads into 2024, with two years of dominance under the current regulations, the question arises, what are your expectations for the 2024 season with the introduction of top-tier cars? Can any team make a significant impact with their 2024 vehicles setting the stage for an exhilarating championship battle. Share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. While you're scrolling, remember to subscribe to the channel to stay informed about our future uploads and stay abreast of the developments in the 2023 Formula One season.